Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Hombrebi. I just kind of went dumb and uh, bought some tokens last night, and I got it. So, it has, it is a raid type. It has basically all the really good raid skills. It has, uh... Force Injectors 2, Maneuver Armor 2, Melee Combo Controller 2, which means three swings. Um, there was another significant 2. Um, Force and I can't remember, but either way, it just has all the skills I would want in a raid. Plus a decent long-range rifle. It doesn't do a ton of damage with it. It has almost no uh, bottom slots, which means there's only so much you can do about its uh, range damage, but it has 21 top slots, so you can fit all of the uh, melee upgrades and still have plenty of space for thruster upgrades, meaning you can basically fly this thing forever and do a ton of melee damage. Uh, so yeah, the Fedayan Rifle is not bad, but again, in Hammerby's hands, not particularly powerful, but it has really great uh, melee. I just hit with the Sea Serpent. It does still cause heavy stagger as it does with the Marasai, but it may be my it may be in my imagination, but I think it resolves a little faster on the uh, Hamu. Sure felt like it. Um, did I skip pilot out, uh, out there? But I didn't when I was playing around. I'll put it that way. Got the DJs. Was trying to uh, run me down. Got a shot in there. Got a Sea Serpent in there. It can also, of course, use the uh, saber on the back of the uh, rifle. Yeah, I did 3,500 and 3,000 on my two swings uh, there, and then another however much that was on the next swing over. Um, I This is the second round I played with it. The first one was not as good. This one isn't great for me, but I get to show off a little bit more of what it does. And I just hit a downed GPO2 MLRS with a neutral swing in that first round and did 4,400 damage. So, yeah, that's that's what we're looking at. And that's just with one swing, the basic swing, it is pretty, pretty strong. So, yeah, it's it's got a lot of good stuff going for it. And it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. And right now I'm not great with it. I'm going to need more practice. But as you can see, there's four of them on the team, counting me, and one Gaplin and one Zeta Gundam. So it's going to be an interesting thing. This Gab flea just uh, tackled on me, did not do it any good, and a lot of damage to that. And I'm just, you know, trying to stack more damage using my forced injectors. Was that the one I forgot to mention? Is it level two? But yeah, forced injectors, maneuver armor. Uh, melee combo controller, all those good things. But anyway, yeah, it's it's got all the good stuff. And, yeah, I was out of legs, so I just kind of uh, uh, fell, to my, uh, fell to my knees there for a second, because that's what happens when you try and overtack your knees. Ow. And pulling back. Yeah, I'm about to be the last person alive. Well, next, no, that other person's the last person alive, because I'm not alive. But yeah, this is... This is fun to use. It's really quite good. And near the end of the round, you're going to get to see me pull off some not particularly, like, point-worthy moves, but they are going to be useful moves to getting us to, uh, uh, through this round. This is a 600-point ace match. The Hombrebi is, I think, only the, might be the second or third thing that starts out at 600 points. It is, it is a level one. It is a 600-point level one. And... Yeah, I'd say it pretty well justifies that. And I'm... Man, I'm just racking my brains to try and remember what the other uh, a level 2 skill was. Because it's... Yeah, it's got really good uh, skills. Um, but we're, we are uh, heading back into the fight. And they are kind of massing at the uh, mouth of this tunnel, as they like to do. And trying to pin us down here. We all fly, so if we don't want to be pinned down... We're not going to be pinned down, but I don't mind fighting from back here. Um, what, that's one thing about the rifle. Whereas the Ashimar's rifle changes uh, changes modes between uh, between uh, between mobile suit and mobile armor mode because it is the only ranged weapon the Ashimar has. Hamburby doesn't do that. It, if you have overheated your rifle and transform, your rifle is still overheated. So. That is something you're going to have to watch out for with this. 
it's still it's still plenty good. You just have uh, yeah, you just can't count on mode changes to uh, uh, account for that the way you could with the uh, with, uh, with the Ashimar. Um, eighty-seven hundred fifty-three to nine thousand something down a little bit, but there's three minutes left to go in the round, so we'll see what happens. I am not the ace. Kind of funny, in this round with four Humberbees, the Gaplin is the ace. So, uh, but the uh, Gaplin uh, uh, player, I think, was one of the ones that was a good sport who, before this started, uh, and we're all sitting there in Humberbees, uh, and them and the Gaplin uh, sent the uh, tell, who will sortie in a raid? Answer being everyone but the Zeta. But Let's see, we are down a fair bit at this point, and I am about to pull a stupid and get myself killed a third time in a row. But I did man tag Zeta, but I pulled back. I probably should have pushed forward with the Sea Serpent to just try and keep on the Zeta and do as much damage as I could before I got completely demolished for pulling a stupid. Because, yeah, just don't run into uh, the middle of... Uh, middle of a crowd of enemies like that, even to, uh, to go for the ace. That is classic bad raid behavior and I shouldn't have done it but uh, that's why I sent the sorry tell yeah because that was just terrible but rounds not over we've got a minute and 40 seconds at these costs uh, 6,000 points down is not as much as it sounds like we can still do this and let's see yeah, we've got uh, our ace on the field their ace is not that's not a bad combination either so, when not charged, the dying rifle does not, uh, does not, uh, stun. So, just watch out for that. Missed with the sea serpent. Don't think I, uh, no, I think I actually hit the DJ above the, uh, uh, shoulder of the gab flea I was trying to hit. Well, that's something. I left the gab flea for the ace. The ace took it. And now just trying to do, uh, trying to stack damage where I can. Because we've got a minute to pull this off and we may be able to do it. See, I'm trying to figure out if the rifle has piercing or not. I think it might, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, might only have it when charged, might not have it at all. Still trying to puzzle that out, have not figured it out. EJ's going after the raid. I managed to catch it, uh, something and knock it over, and now raid and I bounced off of each other. Or ace, rather, not the raid. We're all the raid. But yeah, ace and I, it's two, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I just want to get this out there, so yeah. Yeah, I've done more damage to the DJ. We have almost tied it up. I am leaving the DJ to the ace. Uh, someone else did not leave the DJ to the ace. That's bad form. But here's the enemy ace, which we do have time to kill, so we can probably still pull this off. And ace is down, and we have got the lead. Okay, it was the previous round I was thinking of where I pull off something good at the end that uh, helped and we won, but I just otherwise did not perform very well in that round. Didn't do great in this one either, but it's 3 o'clock in the morning, and it's the uh, the like the second round I played on it on the night it was released. So I, I'm, I'm going to give myself a minor pass for that one. 93,000 damage. I outdamaged everyone else. So, yeah, you can really go in for a lot of melee with this. Because it has the two melee weapons, you can do a little bit of dancing. It's... It's really good at that, and yeah, it has tremendously good skills, so I hope everybody who wants it can get it, because I really do like it, and it's fun to use. So, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Oh, double dodge roll. That's the one I kept forgetting. For, uh, forced injector 2, double dodge roll, melee combo controller 2, and uh, yeah, good stuff.